the Uni Pro 16 pizza oven. All natural charcoal, wood, and of course you have the gas option. My personal favorite is combining the charcoal and the wood to spike the flame. This thing is roughly 66 pounds. It makes the perfect 15 to 16 inch Neapolitan pizza. Let's take a closer look. The oven door has also a temperature gauge as well. When you have the oven door on, you wanna make sure the chimney is off. Another important feature is the baffle. Having this parallel or open lets the oxygen flow from the back of the oven up to the top, the maximum airflow. If your oven's getting a little too hot or you want a little bit lower temperatures, turn this baffle closed, which actually blocks the airflow from coming out and it'll actually lower the temperature inside the oven. But if you're using that while the oven's going, don't forget these uni gloves. If you're using gas, the door is open. This is the pizza guard door. And they actually leave the chimney cap on. This will make it so the heat escapes through the front when the gas attachment's on. When using charcoal and wood, you want to keep maximum heat inside your oven, especially when you're preheating. I recommend 100% having the door on. This will create temperature buildup inside the oven and the heat can escape through the top. When you're preheating the oven, I always recommend leaving the baffle completely parallel and open. This will create the maximum heat and also heat that stone inside the oven. The stone is one of the most important features in the oven. You wanna make sure you maintain this. When you're not using the oven, store it in a really dry place. So the key feature is also this propane gas attachment. This connects to any five gallon propane tank. Each gas attachment comes with an Allen wrench and some screws. This opening here already has a couple screws in there. So make sure you keep the extra screws just for emergencies. Put that in the, directly in the back of the oven. Notice the fuel basket is removed when we're using gas. So you're gonna take the Allen wrench and you're gonna tighten that up real good on, on both sides. And I'm gonna attach it here. One thing you wanna do is always, when you're done using it, keep it closed. For right now, since we're gonna use it, I'm gonna open it real quick. The gas attachment also goes from low to high feature as well. You press down on the gas attachment, you kind of hear the gas going. Then once you hear a click, you'll see the flame going. Voila. Hold it down for roughly three to five seconds until the flame has grabbed, and then you'll be able to keep the preheat in your uni oven. Give this roughly 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your climate, to heat up. The uni stone gets up to 500 degrees Celsius or 950 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me show you how to use this charcoal and wood option. When I start my fire, I always start with these premium natural fire starters from the Uni. We're going to start off with the charcoal. 100% natural charcoal. We'll lay a nice bed of charcoals inside the fuel basket. If you are just doing straight wood, you only need about four or five pieces. Put that fire ladder right underneath there. A good benefit of using wood and charcoal is this maintains a nice temperature, roughly around 700 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're ready to cook that Neapolitan pizza, you can put that oak wood in and it spikes it up to about 950 degrees Fahrenheit or 500 degrees Celsius. We're gonna open up the uni oven. We're gonna actually put the fuel basket through the front of the oven towards the back here. Once you get a decent fire going on a fire lighter, you can set it inside your uni oven. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to shut the fuel door and just be real patient. I'm also gonna shut this as well. Remember, at this point, Leave the baffle parallel and the chimney vent open. Don't forget, always use your uni gloves. This right here is actually left over from a kitchen remodel. This is a stone quartz. Um, another thing you want is maybe like a metal, wood, or any type of stone. You always want to avoid glass or plastic as these ovens get extremely hot and that might shatter or melt. Right now, the coal's been going for roughly 15 minutes here roughly about 600 degrees Fahrenheit right now. We're gonna put a piece of wood in there. We're gonna spike that flame a little bit. So you can see instantly the flame is kind of kicking in here. So we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Let's go back to the oven. Just gonna check our temperature. We're about 800 degrees in the back of the oven here. And then see how the heat is escaping from the top. Right now, beautiful, over 900 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's not sliding there, put a little bit of semolina on the bottom and we're going to put it into the oven. Here. 
wouldn't be surprised if this pizza takes less than about 75 seconds. I should say, your first you're waiting on the stone it takes about 20 seconds before you spin. Get in. Yeah, looking good. Shut that door in between pizza. Want to let it cool completely naturally. It could take up to an hour to have this completely cool. But a good thing is, once it's completely cooled, give it an hour or two or even next bake, take the stones out, completely flip them over. What will happen is the new stones will be very, very clean from the bottom. This black stuff on the, on the top right now will actually do a self-cleaning mode every time you heat that oven up, so it's pretty cool. Where do I store this thing? Buy one of these things, the, the case. The cases are awesome. I leave this thing outside 365 days a year. Feel free to reach out to any of the Uni Ambassadors, anything on anyone on Team Uni for questions. And I hope you guys had a great time today. I'm Mike with Pizza in the Sack. See you next time.